Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to Primetime Polton. I'm your host, Mark Polton, comic book writer, written books, uh, Graveyard Shift, uh, U.S. Assassin, and the upcoming Sea Dog and Codename Kill Switch. It's currently in demand on Indiegogo, so after this video, uh, go check it out. I think if you're into 90s comic books with awesome art and over-the-top action, I think you'll really dig it. Um, today we're here for another $1 movie review. Um, for those that don't know, I go to the local Dollar Tree, um, check out their movie section. Yes, <laughs> they have a movie section. It's in the electronics aisle. And I check their dollar movies um, and see what catches my eye and come back and review them. Um, last week we did Lady Blood Death. A lot of people liked it. A lot of people uh, viewed it. Man, Lady Blood Death was a masterpiece in, in my uh, eye. I am a fan of Amy Johnston now. Uh, this week, another fighting movie. I picked up Brawler. It's a tale of two brothers. Um, both uh, fighters, they fight on the illegal riverboat uh, fighting <laughs> circuit. Um, takes place in New Orleans. Lots of jazz music. Um, this wasn't what I expected from the box art. art. I thought I was going to get something like um, Never Back Down or uh, Warrior. Um, this is more like an artsy art house uh, fighting film. Um, very indie. Um, the, it, it sort of took a while to get for me to get into it because I think I was so disappointed that it wasn't what I was expecting. Um, but once it does get into it, uh, the, uh, the, there's a rough rift between the two brothers. Um, and then it, then it really takes off. But uh, before we get into that, I'm going to read the back of the box so you know what it's about. Uh, based on the true events, Brawler is the gripping tale of two brothers caught in the web of vicious, bone-breaking underground fight club set on mob-run New Orleans riverboats. After a devastating personal betrayal, the once inseparable brothers go head-to-head -head in a fight to the death. So, you know, as you can see, uh, the two brothers um, come to conflict. Uh, the one, the older brother, is responsible. Um, he gets injured protecting his little brother from a mess that he gets in and his fighting career is over. So he, he becomes like a regular guy, takes an everyday job, construction job. He's being responsible, doing the right thing for his new wife. Meanwhile, his screw up little brother is, uh, you know, still running the streets. Um, he doesn't have a job, so he hangs out at his brother's house with his new wife, his brother's new wife. Um, <laughs> and that only leads to trouble. Uh, the older brother comes home and sees the little brother messing around with his wife. And that's when it all blows up. And that's when the movie really becomes good. Um, the older brother comes out of retirement. And uh, he, he wants his brother in one more fight. And, uh, you know, the, the, the brother is such a screw-up. Uh, the mob wants him because he owes them money. The mob's telling the older brother, it might be best if you just kill him. Because <laughs> he's a dead man anyway. And uh, when we get to that final fight, man, I was really... I was really um, invested in it. I, 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 what I was watching, I was like, wow, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> I couldn't believe, I, you know, I thought the brothers were going to kill each other. Um, I don't want to spoil it for you and, and in case you do uh, decide to pick this up, but man, the, the final fight scene is gripping. Uh, and it took this film, which at the time I was thinking it was going to be a two. Um, I gave it a two just because it's a combo pack. You get the Blu-ray and the DVD. What a bargain for that for $1. Uh, thank you, Dollar Tree. But um, this this final fight and the build up to the fight, uh, like the training and one, once the brothers um, have this big blow up, uh, you know the the movie really becomes gripping. But that final final fight scene, man, is uh, is awesome, and uh, that's when the story really comes together. So um, I'm going to give this I'm going to give this a five. Uh, I'd pay five dollars for this uh, DVD Blu-ray combo pack. If you see it in your Dollar Tree, I would suggest getting it. It's no uh, Lady Blood Death, but I have a feeling Lady Blood Death is going to be the bar for uh, these $1 movie reviews. That's a masterpiece in my eyes. Um, but anyway, that's my review. Please go check out my Indiegogo for Sea Dog and Codename Kill Switch. Uh, we're ending the in-demand store at the end of the month. Um, so please be sure to pre-order your copy. Thanks for watching, guys.